My name is Tony Pazowitz, and I'm proud to be the vehicle line director of the Chevrolet Volt. We're here at General Motors Company Vehicle Operations, and uh, we're re very excited that we as General Motors are taking a leadership position in some of these new emerging sustainable technologies. And although it doesn't appear we have a lot of solar energy today, like the folks out at the LA Auto Show, I believe we'll get some sun later today and I think the sun will shine upon us as we keep continue with some of these great initiatives. This large structure that's standing behind me should not be confused with some of the initiatives you've read about in the past, our green zone solar charging canopies at the various Chevrolet dealerships. This canopy is just a little bit different. It's the next phase in our green charging strategy at Chevrolet at General Motors. We are now planting and growing solar trees. A little bit of the history that's led us to this point includes over 500 charging stations for plug-in cars within General Motors facilities. I believe that's the leader amongst companies that are providing workplace charging. By early next year, we anticipate we'll have about 200 green zones or Chevrolet dealerships that have charging canopies in construction or in place. We have many other solar initiatives here at General Motors, including if you've been to the Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant, the home of the Chevrolet Volt, you'll notice that we also have charging canopies there, plus solar charging to power the facility. Now this particular solar tree is designed not only to provide protection from the elements for the cars when charging the vehicles, but it actually moves and adjusts with the sun to ensure that we're capping the optimal amount of solar rays at any given point in time. Now, is that very cool technology or is it? And really this story is about technology and teamwork. The technology that exists in the Chevrolet Volt, the award-winning product, which has now achieved a very interesting milestone. We've just passed 10 million battery-powered miles from the grid in our retail fleet. And it's about teamwork the teams of people, the partners that have been put together to deliver some of this great new sustainable technology. Now I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize Envision Solar for their work on this project. They are the company behind the tree. I was just envisioning Christmas ornaments on this tree someday, so <laughs> we'll come back for some photo ops there. Desmond Wheatley and his team made sure that this tree its design fitting with GM's sustainability scope and plan and then saw through the execution from beginning to end. With this solar tree in place, GM becomes the first automaker to install one of these trees on their property to charge our own vehicles. It's a pretty amazing piece of sustainable technology. One of these structures can produce 30,000 kilowatt hours of energy a year. This canopy can charge six plug-in vehicles like the Chevrolet Volt on any given day. So instead of the volts just sitting out here in the sun, heating up so you have to use energy to air condition, they can sit here in the sun or the shade and they can charge. One of the unique features of the tree is it really doesn't impede traffic. Very nice progressive design that, that uh, is situated with a pole and really allows vehicles to park easily and maneuver around the structure. So it becomes less of an ob obstacle. It really becomes part of the landscape, if you will. Again, I must reiterate how important this is. The Volt was designed to be a sustainable vehicle. Now we have a choice to pull from the grid green energy. So when we discover ways to charge via this renewable energy, it's a win-win for our company and it's leading us into a very bright and promising future. In addition to this tree, we're also going to install one in our Milford Proving Ground, which Desmond will talk about a little bit later. This project really wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't been without the help of the City of Warren and their Economic Development Council. So I'm very, very happy to introduce